Hello, everyone. It is Wednesday, September 8th, and it's time for the Knowledge Bolide Weekly Hangout sponsored by Topher Spin Meteorites. Um, I have this unclassified 27.64 gram uh, ordinary chondrite, I guess, probably. Um, I think it was found in Algeria in 2019. And it has like some kind of like secondary plus some like fusion crust on the top there, I think. Dude, that's that's oriented, man. That's yeah. Beautiful. That's beautiful. It's really yeah. It's really interesting. I saw it a couple times. And I said, okay, I gotta get it just because yeah. it's a really cool uh, shape. No, yeah. what the brown is is a oxidation in the fusion crust that turns it brown like that. Uh, you see it on Vinales. You see it on um, uh, Chelyabinsk. It's very common and. Uh, it, it's it's not a it's not a, a a bad quality in in the least at all. Yeah, the instatites are actually a very reduced type of meteorite. So um, when I say uh, it's a reduced environment, it means there's really not a lot of free oxygen in there when they're forming. So what you're talking about when you're talking about an instatite um, is that pure end member all the way at the end. So like things like albrights are like seventy to to ninety eight percent instatite. Um, you do have the albrights, which are achondrites, um, and then you also have instatite uh, chondrites, uh, which are broken down into two different uh, subtypes. There's the EHs, which are high metal instatite uh, chondrites, and there's ELs, which are the low metal instatite chondrites. You get to, some of them never got put totally into groups, so this is an E6. Uh, there's a total of eight of those floating around. Uh, Sarah 9456, and it never got uh, put into E, L, or E, H. Doesn't fit either, I guess, or, or never fully got uh, studied to fit it in there. Well, but you can I'm... see a lot, of, a lot of the instatites have beautiful beautiful metal in there along with the instatite. And again, it's, yeah. it's really unoxidized metal because there wasn't a lot of oxygen fugacity going on on the parent body to allow it to uh, form any oxides in there. It's a pretty Dude, chunky, that's chunky a hunk story. of it. Yeah, it's uh, it, yeah. I saw it. It was actually from one of the local uh, dealer around here for meteorite, um, and he sells like gems and stuff too. And I was just like, wow, this is a really chunky one. I think it's uh, what is it again? It is two point seven one grams. Wow. And the uh, achondrites and the albrights. I've, I've showed most of this off before, but you know, you got the classics, Norton County, uh, and you were mentioning the fusion crust. Yeah, the. The fusion on the Albrights is actually usually more creamy than it is um, like a black type fusion crust. Yeah. A lot of the black you see in there is actually shock. So so this piece has that nice kind of creamy looking crust in there along with some shock going through it. So, wow. That's probably the, one of the best examples I've seen. Yeah, that was, a, that was a cool piece. And that's actually from one of the larger stones. That's from the McKinney stone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we, we have uh, actual thin section work from uh, Jose uh, Garcia uh, down there on the bottom, and uh, the material comes from Juan uh, Vilas, and they are both in Spain, and they're both crazy, awesome people. So here are some of the, here's some of the thin sections for the new Algerian Albright. <clears throat> but in this one right here i know that the white i'm gonna hit the pause button the white is enstatite and the gray is cycloenstatite and uh it's formed at low temperatures That one shows a huge crystal and then tremendous amount of shock. You can see the really long, big, huge crystals and how they shear off like that. This is a solid meteorite. It's uh, hard to cut. We'll have to talk to Chris about that 
but it is it's a pretty solid meteor. You know, I did. I guess my question is, why is that? Why is I, it I so think, brittle? I, I don't know necessarily if it's it's brittle. I think you're getting it to separate along the crystal boundaries. It is very large crystal structure. Um, so obviously where two crystals meet up, you got a little bit of a weakness. Uh, and I got a feeling it's it's possibly separating there. Um, yeah, I did I did cut it thicker because then I had to do a bunch of cross cutting when I was was working on it. That I am super happy to see in here because uh, Nora Dean uh, Azelmat is a fantastic guy with fantastic stones, and I am getting and actually meeting him right now for the first time. So how are you, Nora Dean? <laughs> Hello, friend. How are you? I'm I am very excited uh, to participate with you today. Uh, this is my first uh, participation in Hangout about Meteorites. Uh, so I'm very, very uh, proud to be with you, all, uh, all of you guys today. And thank you. Thank you very much, uh, dear Tofor, for uh, your invitation. Oh, uh, it's my pleasure today. to have you, my friend. Thank you. Where, where are you joining us from? Uh, from Morocco. Yes. See? Yes. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Here is the texture. There we it's, go. It's uh, an EL with a uh, remaining uh, secondary fusion crust. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks like a real sturdy stone, too. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. E yeah. So EL and it's under classification. Yeah, so it is under classification. <laughs> it is an no problem. First, I'll start off with is this uh, uh, a chondrite on group that I got from Topher there. Uh, it's, it's really not... Uh, it's really nice looking, um, especially under light, but it may not flicker too well. All right. So, um, Ikki is an EH7 anomalous. Um, that, is, that is a big piece of it, too. <laughs> it's about 4.22 gra 4 grams. Wow. So, um, it's the only EH7 anomalous meteorite. Um, showed off uh, a nice EL melt. So obviously uh, Al Pagunia uh, is, is a well-known, it's now EL melt uh, rock. You know, for a while it was Albright, for a while <laughs> it was EL3, uh, for a while it was EL6. Um, but that's one of those classic meteorites that has uh, that interesting, uh, very terrestrialized texture to it. So the we're all talking about the Albrights and I, oh. I didn't have very good light. I kind of just wanted to show this one off and hopefully this is a little bit better. This is yeah. a six six grams, basically. And that's a complete slice. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. It, if you know, I, I said it last week, and I say it again, if you showed me that, you know, when I was first getting into meteorites and tried to sell me that as a meteorite, I I'd be like, nah, I don't think so, buddy. But, oh um, yes, that new Hasi Albio uh, zero zero two. It's uh, it's an ungrouped palisite. Um, that, did, uh, that stuff is so beautiful, right? Look at the Whitman standing on that. Oh, I know like, it's crazy, super coarse. You don't find that in like any other palisite that I. It's seen. like a uh, Whitman Staten camo. Yeah, <laughs> man. it's beautiful. So as man. soon as I as soon as I saw this stuff, Mark had it. Mark had it first. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to get myself a piece. It's our first classification. Um, it was generously donated to us as, you know, from the Midwest community as a, a chance for us to uh, get a classification in the Met Bowl. Hmm. And it's it's been submitted. We're just waiting for an NWA number now. And I just really liked the shape oh. of this. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's gorgeous! Yeah, cool looking. Yep, that's my biggest and only EH3. Yeah, and it looks like it's a uh, 
it, it, it looks like there it's a complete uh, cut, a, com a complete slice too. Yeah, you can see all the Ooh, metal and yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just had to get that. I forget these. This is a cool one, just because it's uh, it's an American piece. This is Happy Canyon, and that's out of the Southwest Meteorite Labs uh, mm -hmm. collection. So that's kind of cool. That's a that's a one hundred and one. That's uh, one of the ones that splits the petrology. So that's a uh, El six slash seven. Um, but that's the only one that there's out there. <laughs> All right. So here here's one of my one of my favorite meteorites, and I had to show off because it's a beautiful. I mean, super high quality. It doesn't fit in with today's show, but it's it's beautiful enough to stand on its own. It's uh, Diagenite, NWA 7831, and it is extremely translucent, as you can see. Yeah. This telescope um, is built up with some very special filters because all those nice features of the sun um, like prominences, filaments and uh, the chromospheric network is only visible at one wavelength and that's the wavelength of the ionized hydrogen, the so-called hydrogen alpha. Hmm. So this here, in what you can see here is an H-alpha telescope so that we can here observe the chromospheric details of the Sun. What you can see here is a so-called pressure tuning knob. So the chamber of the filter is uh, under pressure and by turning or focusing this uh, uh, knob here it is possible to um, get very exact that wavelength of the H alpha. Whoa! You can see those wonderful prominences. Look at that. Oh, wow. Whoa! There's a lot going on on our sun at the moment. That's crazy. Look at all those prominences. And of course, come on, let's have a look. <laughs> Do we have also prominences here? Oh yes, we wow. have. Look Jeez. at that. They're Incredible. jumping off. To give you an idea, the height of that prominence is that you can see yeah. is about five to eight times the diameter of our Earth. Oh my gosh. Oh. Absolutely astonishing. Wow. This one is right there. Let me pause it. Wow, that is crazy. And those are the filaments he was talking about. Look at that detail. Oh, <laughs> I would absolutely like, I, I love Marco and I love you for doing this, but you can't tease us of a time lapse and then not, not give us a time lapse. <laughs> Now we're going to say a, a quick goodbye and then we're going to shut down so you guys can't see us. That's why you need to join us live because we're about to discuss everyone's point of views in a non-recorded um, chat room. How do you feel about the $1 million Taza main mass being cut today? <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining. I really appreciate everyone's support. Have a great week. Take care, guys. Right. Guys and gals.